quota coming to the interim. Bani Kotan kills the interim here. Bana. Play moon. And this one is going to the coast town, where the kidney are. Including Mr. Kokoron, the brother of the incoming representative, who is the principal for the Vuluba Public School, he has come to watch the climax of this location. Now we can proceed with the woman. He is Mr. Johnny Ko. We are the demand. The name that the poor giving that is the Tony Co. Tony Co. Is our poor man, Nita. His real name, the uh, country name is Nita. 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 Is Nita. Who is who? Tony Co. Ah, nineteen sixty-two. This time was established in nineteen sixty-two. Well, you thank God that uh, the preacher presently, the orphanage home that has been established here, he wishing that everything would be fine, even the children, who some of them, their parents had been dead and gone, they will also, the missionary, be able to help them. So this is what mainly he's praying on. He said, well, I think I will pray to the Almighty that this thing work. And I know he has work because I see that they are on the road for the children's education. Because this place is the children, they far from them. Some villages, they cannot go. If, if the children do not know, uh, they do not learn anything, they will be in darkness and even by nobody would identify, nobody even know them. They themselves will not be able to travel to go any farther. They will just be in the bush as they was before, uh, along with the woman. So he is more thankful to those who have come to open this place, the missionary, the ice cream, so that they will continue with their help, their support for their children's education for the time of co town. And he speaking is presently, as we said to you, this is Mr. Cole, who has established this town from 1962. So that the children will never suffer. Most of the time, you see the villages around here, the children cannot get a place to go to school. But they are fortunate, I mean, fortunate for them, they have a place, they turn with someone to arrange for them so they can have a school here. Okay. We've been speaking with uh, Madam Tamil Ko, a born citizen of the Court village. She, she is about 50 years old, as you can predict. Now, she has accepted every development being brought here by Abbot Tokolo under the SPC of an NGO, a gospel missionary, who may God bless them and will make sure that this program will be starting pretty soon. <laughs> Memorial Academy, Incorporated, Johnny Cole Town, Bondi Jiri College District, Hong County, Liberia. Official launching program held in Johnny Cole Town, Bondi July 2, 2016. by Mr. Genesis Duluwa, pastor of the Baptist Church. Into Jesus this morning, we say thank you. Yeah.
Lord, we are so grateful to come to you this morning. Lord, as we are about to go into our program, we will bless and protect us. Father, I know you are the king, you are everlasting king, when you say yes, no, but I say no. At this hour, we are about to go to our activities, we will bless and protect us. Lord, if you do it for we have to give our Lord. We praise you in the name of the Father and the Son. Jesus, be a prayer. This introduction of the occasion by TBD student. Today is uh, a launching program. Uh, we got some friends, some people who are God fearing, some good world people who have agreed, decided to come and work with us as a community and do some work for children business. That's why you see plenty, plenty children here today. So, uh, we, this day is for us to think about children, some of the problems they're facing. So, we got here, we are blessed to have uh, the Honorable Commissioner from uh, Ukola, uh Honorable uh, Annie Reeves. Then we're also blessed to have uh, uh, Mother Reverend Alice Kofa. We're also blessed to have um, Pastor Avi W. Kofa Senior, and he is the the founder, the one who who established, who started the whole business. Founder and Chairman, Board of Directors, Maman. Put your hands together as we welcome your stage. Principals of schools and teachers, students, members of the press, members of the police department of Bond County, representative of the Bond County Women Organization, who sit sitting right by me here, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, my wife and I are greatly humbled to be in your midst today that a long-awaited dream has come true. We cannot believe our eyes. We left from here quite a long time during the 1990 Civil War. And I've been exiled now for about 26 years. Though we were in a comfortable place and everything seems to be all right, we were uncomfortable because of these little ones. The children are very much important. So much important as Jesus said, suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not. For such is the kingdom of heaven. And so we are very pleased to be here. We are grateful to God for all the instruments he used. Through our men on the ground, with our Ivan to Club, for this program to come into being. The whole dream of Mother E. Ramsey started from a Swedish missionary, Norwegian missionary, Norwegian American missionary. Mother Ramsey's parents were Norwegians. They left their country because of economic reasons and went to the U.S. Mother was a little girl among one brother and six sisters. 
she had a dream and she saw people of our color with hands lifted up trying to help save us from here save us from here and this dream moved her so much disturb her until they had to carry her to a pastor in Duluth, Minnesota. And the pastor prayed for her. And the pastor noticed that God wanted her to go to Africa. And so, the pastor asked her, where in Africa would you like to go? She prayed and God said, Liberia. And so she came to Liberia in 1925. At that time, Liberia was known as a white man's grave. No white man came in this country and went back. The mosquito kept it down. So Liberia was called white man's grave. She heard that expression and she said, still, I will go. And so she came and landed in Kepamos, in our own Republic of Liberia here. I'm not telling you anything strange. And there she was for some time. And not being satisfied, she went in the interior, in the countryside. And there God used her to, to perform many miracles. She kept many offers during Obama and Pa. She also freed women from compulsory wedding. In my tradition, when a woman is pregnant and you love her, you love the family, you can go to her and say, look, we deliver and that child is a girl child of my wife. That we used to do. And when that guy is born, that man will, will keep on working for the family, whether he's 50 years old or not. And when that girl gets to an age, she's compelled to marry to that man whether she likes him or not. And so that's the tradition. She broke that tradition. So that every girl will marry every man she loves. And then she educated a lot of people, including myself here. She educated my father, she educated my mother, she educated hundreds of young people who are working in government today. If you ever heard of Gabriel Nimle, she educated Gabriel Nimle, he's an orphan. You're like, you're like children of my pa. And several others. Okay, so when me and my wife fled, we spent 14 years in Ghana. And then from Ghana, we went to Norway. And let me be frank with you, in Norway, even though there are problems all around the world, but they are real ease. They are peaceful people, and the human rights record says there's almost about one in the world. And so we are comfortable there. From that feeling, being in a good place, having good food, having good surrounding, fine. But on the other side, when we take out about our home, we see all the pictures of the Ebola. We saw all what happened during the, the Civil War. The Second Civil War, we were not here. And we saw all those things. And we said, look, we are getting old. We will live some time. If we are rich, our money will probably us nothing. But what we do for the little children will continue. So let's think about home. There is a saying that a teacher never dies. No teacher can die. When he dies, the guy he teaches still carry on. That teacher is still living. And so let us go and do something. And that, that one life will soon be passed. And what you do for God and your fellow man will last. This is our mission here. And so we are here to join hands with you. We are not millionaires, we, we are sending money, we are pensioners, we are not working. We have enough just to eat from, from head to mouth. But we believe that when we come, God will open the way. Mother Rosie left in 19, 1920s, 1925, and went to Liberia, and she stayed in the jungle. Back the children in the whole district, the children in all of Paul County, to be men and women tomorrow. Development with material things, skyscrapers, super highways, they are very good. But they are useless if nobody is to, to use them. This is what we call growth without development. You build skyscrapers, you got this, you got that, you got this, but the people are dying way down there. 
improve development is to bring up the young people. Because when a young man comes up, what he can do for himself, nobody can help him with him. And so we are here to establish an orphanage. Mother Resident Memorial Academy, the whole academy means that school. With the school, we want to have orphans here. We want to have health facilities. We want to look around for the old, old people that don't have any help. Widows. No husband, they are too old, they can't do anything. We want God to open way, we want us to join hands together to help our community. And one of the most important reasons we come here to is that the people of Bond County love development. The people of Bond County are hard-working people. You know, it is said that it's very difficult to be on the side of a lazy man. When you say knocking, put him down. When you do that, they say kick him off. When you do that, it's too much now. So we're looking for hard-working people that will join us to carry on the work. We want this, this is our Johnny College, Johnny College, Johnny Cole, Johnny Cole Town to be transformed into a moderate community. We have young people that will move Liberia. Young people that will occupy the legislature. It's possible that the president of Liberia will come from this group. That is our aim. That is our purpose. And so we thank God to be here. I'm here with my wife. And she came and joined me. She's the one that pushing the whole thing. You know, women have power. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I said, I'm going to say Ebola there. He said, but Ebola there, the children are there. And this is why we came. And we are here today. Yesterday was our birthday. We saw the children coming around. And we are happy that because of us, these little children are happy. We want to make people happy. Liberia has been suffering for a long time. The third thing we want to do also is to preach Christianity. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Anybody who doesn't fear God doesn't regard anybody else. So we'll teach them the fear of God. We'll teach them the Bible. And I know with the grace of God, by the grace of God, we will succeed. I would I would like to thank the people of Johnny Cole Town, the chiefs, the district commissioner, and all the officers for giving us facilities to use. They are giving us that clinic up there. And by the grace of God, it will be developed in the interest of this community. They are giving us this place, uh, this house for an orphanage. And by the grace of God, we will build a boys' dormitory. They are giving us 40 acres of land. And by the grace of God, we're going to make farm to develop, to produce food, to feed these children. You know, the last thing God made, the last thing God made was human beings. With your effort, with our effort, we'll lift up the standard of this place. And by doing so, we'll lift up the standard of Bond County. And by so doing, we'll lift up the standard of Liberia. Many people today are looking up to government, not knowing that they themselves are the government. The government you're looking for is your very self. You prepare the place you live, fix it well, so you live in peace and harmony. But everybody looking up, looking up to government. Let us know that we are government. That the same privileges God gave the people in authority, He gave to us. If we can work hard, we will do great things in this country. So in short, I don't want to talk too much. This is not political speeches. And as an NGO, we got nothing to do with politics. We have nothing to do with politics. Our major aim and goal is to take care of these little ones and let them grow up tomorrow to become men and women of Liberia. May God bless this clan. May God bless this chiefdom. May God bless this district. Headed by our mother, Honorable Annie Reeves. 
May God bless Bon County and may God bless Republic of Liberia. Thank you very much. So traditionally in Bon County, it is what we do. Before we welcome you by tradition, we are to satisfy the spirit, our inherit our inherited spirit. And so this is what we do in Bon County. This is white tea. I see rice, I see candles, and three white pullers. In Bon County, this is what we do when we see strangers. Let us pray. Pray, Mama. And they saw Mary, and Mary said, Let it be done unto me according to the will of God. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Today we are here in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Jesus said, Without me, you can do nothing. So I want you to know that we are happy, we accept all that you have brought for us today. We are your children and together we will walk, knowing that God is on our side. And so thank you very much, Madam Commissioner. Thank you very much. Together we will walk together, knowing that God is on our side. Without Him, we can do nothing. Thank you, mothers. Thank you, mothers. Thank you, brothers and sisters. God bless you. Thank you, my own mind. Thank you, people. We are in the, in the administration of the ladies. Ladies are very important. Every child, what the child, the child brought to the mother more than the father. Yes. So, we are very humble. I don't say we are proud. We are humble. For the gift you have given to us, because we don't deserve it. We never work for it. Much so that the commissioner, the authority of this place, to hand all this honor, is an honor to God. And so we want to thank you very much. We will work with you. We come here so that we can work together in partnership. What you can do, we do. What we can do, you do. Then the kingdom will go straight. When you pedal kingdom on one side, it will be turning around. Yes. It can be pedal on two sides. So one side is we, the other side is you. So, Madam Commissioner, thank you very much for the presentation. Please tell your people we are extremely grateful. We are extremely happy. Thank you, and may God bless the women in administration. May God bless their children. May God bless Liberia. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. My name is Jerry Gittini, the mayor of Batana City. I want to thank our mother and father of this country. He has already said it that he has come to transform coastal, but not only coastal, but to transform you were this way and Bone County. I want to say thank you very much. Uh, it is very surprising at this time. Our area has been left out for a very long time. To see this kind of a program for the, the young children that we can see then, 
here today that they have come to have a kind of a program in their interest so that they can be transformed. On behalf of Yuri Doshi and Kotan, I want to take this time to officially learn this program. I thank you very much for this program. Thank you. And we want to say emphatically clear that this is not a mistake because to everything under the sun there is a time and this is the time. On behalf of Court Town, on behalf of our commissioner, the city mayor, and the entire city scenery, we say thank you. And in my own name, Pastor Moses B. Saki, who served as a co-launcher, we are now launching this program in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Thank you.